Hi y'all, how's it going? Welcome back again to my channel. If you'd like to hear someone talk about cats, rats, dogs, and reptiles, this is the place to be. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how I'm setting up an isopod breeding area, I guess. I have my blue tongue skink enclosure back there behind me. The other day my isopods came in. I did an unboxing video on that, which I will probably put a little card up here for. Um, I ordered them from Rainbow Mill Worms. I had actually ordered like 60 orange, powdered orange isopods from someone on eBay. And it was at a really great price. I was super excited because this way I would be able to go ahead and put like a handful of isopods in the blue tongue skink enclosure to go ahead and start getting to work versus having to wait a while for them to breed, which is fine. Like it's a project. It's fun for me. I'm always looking for little projects like that. So they updated a tracking number and I waited and waited and waited and there never were any more updates, so I requested a refund and I got the refund. I got my money back for it. It was just interesting to me um, that I never got them. There was never a response. They issued me a refund with no problem, but it was just weird, weird. But anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna set that up today. I have just this little, what is it? Six quart tub. I took a thumbtack and you can see right in here, I did punch through some air holes on this side and on this side. So hopefully that'll be enough ventilation. Um, I'm not really worried about them getting out. I'm not going to fill it up all the way. So I feel like they probably aren't going to have an easy of a time climbing the sides of this, but I'm not really sure. So either way, um, those are really small holes. Like I used a thumbtack. Maybe the babies could fit through it. Maybe they couldn't, I don't know. So first thing you're gonna need is a six quart tub. Second thing is I did order this substrate from Josh's Frogs. So I ordered some substrate to fill it up. I ordered four quarts. I thought about just using some cypress mulch because I have a bunch. I have a bunch of cypress mulch because I use it in my blue tongue skink enclosure enclosure so and i overbought it that's an 80 gallon enclosure behind me and um i bought an extra thing because it's actually really cheap from a hardware store so anyway i decided not to use that because i couldn't really find anything that broke down the ingredients for isopod bedding once these breed i think i am going to experiment my plan was to do similar to what i did for his enclosure was just mix um Cypress mulch, peat moss, like the real fine peat moss, maybe a little bit of, uh, oh my gosh, I haven't used that stuff in forever. The coconut husk, that's like really fine. Ugh. Mine went blank, but anyway, that stuff and a little bit of sphagnum moss together and just like really, really fine and all together, but it actually looks like that's possibly what happened here when I like look at it, look at it. But I did order this from Josh's Frogs. The next thing you're gonna need is some leaf litter. This was just an Amazon order um, for just some little leaf litter for, it is for microfauna, humidity control, and it's for shelter and hiding of little, little dart frogs. But we're gonna use this for the isopods. And I got some Rapshi Superfoods Morning Wood Gel Premix. I'm going to feed it dry though. I'm not going to mix it. And this is basically like the bug food. It's for the isopods to feed off of. They'll feed off of the other things like the substrate and the leaves and stuff like that. But this will just help them out a little bit. One thing I don't have that is usually recommended is like a piece of cork corkwood to put in there. I actually don't have any corkwood lying around. It's currently all being used, which is really unusual for me because there are certain things I hoard when I go to reptile shows that I just love to buy. And that's one of them. However, I don't have any lying around right now. Okay, then 
I'll probably get something out of my backyard and sanitize it in order to use it. Like just boil it for a few hours and then probably freeze it in addition to that and maybe boil it again because I'm super weird when it comes to sanitizing stuff that I put into my pet stuff. Um, and then of course you're going to need the isopods. Like I said, I ordered these guys from Rainbow Millworms. They came in a couple days ago. I haven't, um, gotten them together just yet. I wanted to save it for when I had time to do another video so you guys could see me do that. So that's the plan Stan. It's going to be super easy. I also have a little spray bottle of water to moisten everything up. So let's get busy on that. Basically just going to cut this right on open. Cut the bag open. I'm going to put it in this bin. I don't know how I can do this where you guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe like this. I'm getting super creative. Let's see if this is going to be enough or if I need to use the whole four quart bag. So it does recommend on the bag to use like three to four inches. They do, I do know that isopods like to burrow a little bit. It's definitely not three to four inches. I probably will just throw this whole bag in here. Anyways, I'm not gonna do that cool oh, yoga move again. No, I say yoga move, it's a regular move holding your legs up, but whatever. So this stuff is super soft. It is very, very soft. It feels really good. This is probably enough. I'm not going to put much more than that in there. Then I'm going to open up this leaf litter. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, but I'm not going to add it just yet. I think I'm going to spray everything down really good first. You guys see how crappy those scissors are? I need to bring some more scissors into here for this room. So I'm just going to spray it down. Obviously it's on a mist. You don't want to drown your eyes, suppose, but you don't want to not have water for them either. Just mix it just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to throw this leaf litter on top. Since I don't have any cork wood right now or anything else like that, and I know that that is actually kind of important for them, I am going to give them a little bit more leaf litter than maybe I should. I'm not going to put the whole thing in there, but they are getting quite a bit just to cover like a lot of the top. That way they do have a lot of hiding spots where they may not have before. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put them in, add what they are. Oh, look, there's one on top. These are little, uh, Dalmatian isopods super cute they're little spotted ones okay they're i didn't know isopods could be cute but i guess that's why kids like to play with roly polies right because they are kind of cute come on get off of there i dumped them i dumped them in there so rainbow millworm sent it with a little egg carton i'll just stick that in there too I kind of want to count them and see if I got all the ones I paid for. But I feel like I'd have to really dig through here. Oh yeah, there's, oh yeah, there's quite a few in here. I should have done this the other day. Oh my gosh, some of them are kind of big. Like look at how big this guy is. Let me grab him, maybe, if he'll let me. I'm not really like one to grab bugs. I'm always afraid I'm going to squish them. But anyways, really and truly, you just got to dump these guys in here. I'm just playing with them at this point. So I'll go ahead and just dump them. I'm trying to not like... Oh my God, this one is adorable. Okay, that's... Probably the cutest darn isopod I've ever seen. I don't know if I'll get it to focus on him, but maybe 
Such a cute little guy right there. There we go. His spots are so sweet. So sweet. Guys, I'm sitting here calling isopods sweet right now. What is happening? I've always loved playing with foam bugs and stuff. So nobody in my family would be surprised that I was doing this right now. If they were to ever come across something like this, they'd be like, oh, that's totally something we expected her to do long, long ago. I'm just kind of dumping them like off to the side. Holy moly, that's a big one that was in there. I definitely have 10. I will say that. There's no question about it. Okay, so they are all in here now. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of bug food in here. And then that is as, I need to take that lid off. It's pretty much as easy as it gets. They've already all kind of gone and hidden and found where they want to be. And that's cool. I'm just going to, ew, that just exploded on me everywhere. And I know what the stuff is made out of. That's kind of what makes it gross. But, um, yeah. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit, see how that works for them. I'll check on it every few days and see if I need to like add more, but yeah, we are done with that. Super, super cool. Just to give you guys a little look-see, I don't know if you can see any of them running around. But this is pretty much what it looks like. This is pretty much what they're going to do all the time. Except they'll have a lid on their enclosure and that'll be it. I just need them to go off and make babies. Lots of babies. And then I can add them to my blue tongue skink tank. So they can eat the blue tongue skink poop and do a good job. Anyways, that is that video. You guys have a great one. Yes, I'm laying on the floor right now. Yes, I think it's weird. Let me get up. But uh, you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching.